Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA, standing alongside Chris Dempsey. Chris, you were just uh, singing the praises of Dublin there. You're enjoying it so far? Yeah, I definitely am. I mean, uh, I'm trying to stay focused on the fight, but uh, also I do want to see the city and see everything around, kind of take in the culture and everything. So, Do you think it's kind of a full circle thing because Iller Latifi made his uh, UFC return kind of coming in on short notice again and a couple of days notice last year in in Europe so now you're coming in against him on short notice as well uh yeah I mean I thought how that worked out was it was kind of uh strange honestly and but uh I mean a lot of people get in on short notice fights and that's and kind of in uh a way to get in when they're not really looking at you and I felt that I wasn't really being looked at so I kind of had to throw my name in there to try to make my mark in there that's what I was going to ask what the process was like because you're on a pretty good win streak before signing with the UFC. Maybe you would have thought they were, had eyes on you anyway. I mean, I would have hoped, but I, I, I didn't know and I wasn't going to risk it and not, uh, not get my shot. I mean, I come from a small steel mill town in uh, the United States and you always hear people how good they were in high school at sports and I, I don't want to be one of those old guys that say I never got my shot. So. This is my shot now, so i got to take it. Do you think the benefit of coming into the UFC on short notice will play in your favour? Because let's say you go out and Ilya um, poses as well, you, lo- you drop a loss, but because you're talking on such short notice, you helped out the card, the UFC are going to look more favourably on you in the future? I would hope so, but uh, I mean, I don't really go into a fight thinking I'm going to lose. So I, I kind of look at the task at hand, and the task at hand right now is to win this fight. And whatever happens during the fight, I mean, I've prepared for it and I'm ready. And we're going to let that happen, and then whatever happens afterwards, we'll, I'll worry about Saturday night. And stylistically, how do you feel you match up? And my interest in angle of this fight is Eastern European wrestling versus USA wrestling, because a lot of those guys in Europe grew up in those sort of countries. They've got really good wrestling. They just haven't shown it yet. Uh, I mean, I think, I think it's a very good matchup. I think we have a lot of similar techniques and everything. And uh, uh, I've, I've wrestled since I was seven years old, and uh, I got to work out with the U.S. Olympic team a couple of times, and the uh, Mexican and the Cuban uh, uh, team were there while I was there. and So I've got to wrestle some of the best guys there in the world, and uh, I feel like our styles will match up. It's, it's kind of hard because I've never wrestled anybody that he's wrestled, and he's never the same with him. and uh, So it's kind of hard to gauge your wrestling against somebody else's just from video. But uh, I, I feel like we'll match up pretty well. And you think the second you get in there, you'll kind of feel him out in the first round? Or what best night scenario for you Saturday night? Explain it to me. Best case scenario? Uh, go in there, get the win, and... Uh, Six the grand. Yeah, that'd be nice to get a bonus. But, I mean, I, I'm just going in there and expecting a, expecting a three-round war. And coming out on top would be my goal. So, Excellent, Chris. We appreciate the time. Thank you Best very luck much. on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.